Business Book Summaries The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod In the Miracle Morning, Hal Elrod shares a not-so-obvious secret that can transform your life before 6 a.m. He argues that morning rituals can lead to a successful day. Mornings provide an opportunity to kickstart the day with self-development, helping you understand your purpose and practice being the person you want to be. Committing to small rituals in the morning can, over time, transform the rest of your days, steering you toward your dreams and helping you avoid a mediocre and unfulfilled life that many people experience. Before we delve further, remember that we regularly share new content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Business Book Summaries and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. A Startling Study Elrod begins his book with a shocking study conducted by the Social Security Administration. The study followed people from the beginning of their working lives to retirement. Out of 100 people, only one became rich, four became financially stable, five had to keep working, 36 died, and 54 needed financial support from family and friends. Elrod points out that none of these people likely dreamed of facing financial hardship. This means that 95% of Americans aren't realizing the lives they wanted. The grim picture of American life deepens as Elrod notes that people are taking more prescription drugs than ever, heart disease and cancer are on the rise, 50% of marriages end in divorce, and Americans are burdened with an average of $10,000 in debt. However, this lifetime of averages doesn't have to be our fate. Surely, We all know people who have achieved their dreams and refuse to settle for less. So, how can we set ourselves up to become this type of person? According to Elrod, our dreams are possible if we can maximize our potential each day. Everything starts with a morning ritual. Starting your day on a positive note sets the tone for the entire day. You'll be able to get more done if you're excited and organized. By mastering this part of our day, we set ourselves up to win and realize our true potential. Making the most of our time, the power of mornings. We should start our day by investing our time wisely. Hal Elrod discovered the incredible power of mornings through a series of life-changing events. In 1999, he faced a terrible car crash that left him legally dead for six minutes and in a coma for several days. Doctors predicted permanent brain damage and doubted he'd ever walk again. Despite these challenges, Elrod miraculously healed. However, the trauma lingered. A few years later, the 2008 recession hit, causing Elrod to lose both clients and his home, leading to a deep depression. A friend suggested he start his mornings early, listening to self-help audiobooks while exercising to get his brain going. This simple advice transformed Elrod's life. Instead of dreading the day, he began looking forward to mornings. Within two months, Elrod saw a remarkable transformation and committed his life to personal development. The connection between personal development and success became evident. To become the person we dream of being, we must allocate time for personal development in our day. Investing time in our physical, spiritual, intellectual, or emotional well-being can significantly improve our lives. Elrod uses the example of college if you want to be a doctor or engineer, you must invest time in personal development to fit the role. Success becomes possible when the job market recognizes your developed skills. This principle applies broadly, your goals and desires are achievable if you dedicate time to developing the necessary skills. For instance, Exercising every morning will eventually bring the strength and fitness you desire. Neglecting this development keeps you distant from your dreams. Elrod emphasizes spending mornings on personal development to break free from dwelling on past accidents and mistakes, which we cannot change. Dwelling on the past limits our potential. Limiting negative feelings with the five-minute rule. Elrod observed that his life changed significantly when he stopped dwelling on past tragedies. He calls this habit rear-view mirror syndrome believing that our past defines our present selves. If someone hurt you in the past, it shouldn't hinder your ability to commit to a relationship. Similarly, past mistakes shouldn't prevent you from accepting new opportunities. The past is unchangeable, so worrying about it is counterproductive. By spending time dwelling on the past, 
we divert energy from achieving what we want in our one life. This dwelling becomes a habit, leading to excuses based on past experiences and increasing the likelihood of repeating mistakes. While grief is a natural part of life, Elrod suggests allowing yourself five minutes each morning to feel negative emotions without letting them consume you. This five-minute rule helps validate emotions without letting them hinder progress. Starting your day right, a five-minute rule. After spending just five minutes acknowledging negative feelings, shift your focus to the positive and find gratitude. Commit to changing your life. Make a commitment to change your life starting today. To move beyond your past, identify your goals and recognize what needs to be done to reach them. Consider the choices that will lead to your desired outcome. All of this lies in your present decisions and shapes your future. These new choices define your character, not your past mistakes. While this adjustment takes discipline, it's the only way toward your ideal life. Commit to change today. Procrastination delays becoming the person you want to be. The author emphasizes that feeling unprepared or facing challenging tasks can create fear of failure. To progress, address these habits and stop postponing lifestyle changes. Find your reasons for getting out of bed. Discover your reasons for getting out of bed. Changing your life may seem overwhelming, but change can start from the first seconds of your day, when your alarm goes off. Consider how often you hit the snooze button. Hal Elrod asks us to reflect on why we might lack motivation to get out of bed. He mentions that people with depression struggle the most with this, hoping to delay facing the challenges of the day. In contrast, those with a sense of purpose are more likely to rise early. Think about days like Christmas morning or your wedding day you probably have no trouble getting up on those occasions. Elrod cites examples like Oprah Winfrey, Bill Gates, Aristotle, and Albert Einstein, who all started their days bright and early. Instead of focusing on the amount or quality of sleep, consider that the energy in the morning comes from excitement for the day. By concentrating on your sense of purpose, you can feel refreshed, regardless of how much you tossed and turned the night before. Avoid the snooze button, and start your morning with brushing your teeth and drinking water to prepare for morning rituals. Boost your morning motivation. Hal Elrod refers to your excitement for the day as your wake-up motivation level and shares practical tips to maximize it. Firstly, set the tone the night before by telling yourself that you'll wake up feeling refreshed. This positive affirmation helps you look forward to a fresh start, signaling to your brain that you're ready for the day. Your attitude towards sleep can significantly impact how prepared your brain feels to rise. To physically get out of bed, place your alarm clock out of reach, preferably across the room. This way, when it rings, you'll have to get up to switch it off. After turning off the alarm, head to the bathroom to brush your teeth. This simple act can make you feel fresh and awake. Then, go to the kitchen for a glass of water and drink it quickly to rehydrate after a night's sleep. Dehydration can make you feel more tired, and water helps kickstart your wakefulness. Take time for silence in the morning. After getting out of bed, the stresses of the day may start to weigh on your mind. Elrod suggests that the morning is an ideal opportunity to confront this stress head-on. Start by incorporating purposeful silence into your routine, such as through meditation. Successful individuals like Oprah Winfrey, Jerry Seinfeld, and Russell Simmons have made meditation a crucial part of their day. Elrod introduces his own style called the Miracle Morning Meditation. Find a comfortable place to sit still, like a pillow or a couch, and sit cross-legged and upright. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Inhale slowly through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, breathing into your belly. Set a rhythm for your breathing. If thoughts intrude, push them away and refocus on your breath. While starting meditation might be challenging, it becomes easier with practice, leading to reduced stress levels. If meditation isn't your preference, take a moment of silence in your own way sitting quietly with a cup of tea, praying, or reflecting on gratitude. The key is to steal away a rare moment of silence for your benefit. Morning Affirmations and Visualizations In the morning, affirmations and visualizations allow you to envision your perfect day providing time for you to create a positive mindset every day. Affirmations and Visualizations, Building a Happy Life 
The foundation of a happy life is one that feels fulfilling. The author emphasizes that negative self-talk can be a roadblock to this fulfillment, while positive self-talk can help reshape our perspective in a more positive light. Take a moment to sit down and jot down affirmations. Ask yourself, what do I want? Why do I want it? What steps will I take to get there? Create an affirmation that vividly describes how perfect your life will feel and what you believe you are capable of. Make it a daily practice to read this affirmation aloud to yourself. Additionally, spend time visualizing yourself in your ideal life, having achieved your goals. If, for example, your goal is to write a book, imagine yourself feeling inspired and joyfully writing page after page at your desk. Use these affirmations to guide your visualization of your perfect day. By consistently reminding yourself of what's important to you, you can see yourself as capable and work towards what truly matters on a daily basis. Exercise Energize Your Morning Exercising in the morning is a key ingredient for keeping yourself healthy and energized. Despite its importance, it can be challenging to find time for exercise in our busy days. Exercise not only keeps our bodies healthy but also has a positive impact on our minds. It reduces the risk of disease and enhances our physical appearance, contributing to an overall sense of well-being. Unfortunately, it often gets sidelined on our to-do list as meetings and other obligations take over. Self-made millionaire Eben Page starts each morning with a personal success ritual, considering exercise as the most crucial part. Feeling his blood pumping and flowing to his brain, he finds that it makes starting the workday easier. Hal Elrod suggests following this lead. A simple morning walk or run can be sufficient. For those who struggle to get out the door, a Pilates or yoga video in the comfort of your bedroom for just 10 to 20 minutes can help wake you up and boost your energy levels for the day. Incorporating exercise into your morning routine sets a positive tone for the rest of the day. Read and write for personal growth. Consider warnings as opportunities for personal growth. After exercising, Hal Elrod emphasizes that reading and writing are the most significant parts of your morning routine. By gaining inspiration and reflecting on your life, you can move towards the life you desire. Read personal development books to gain wisdom and insight early in the day. This wisdom is valuable for everyone, especially those who have experienced success. Explore books related to your goals, whether it's managing money, building relationships, or starting a business. Aim to read a minimum of 10 pages a day, totaling about 20 minutes. This could add up to more than 18 books a year. When you find a book you love, consider re-reading it and highlighting the most useful information. Write down the best ideas to make them easier to recall. After reading, take 5 to 10 minutes every morning to write. Consider your thoughts, feelings, fears, insights, or recent lessons learned. Elrod, in his own experience, found increased gratitude for what he had. In his writing, he focuses on his achievements and future goals. He divides the page into lessons learned on one side and new commitments on the other, helping him improve on mistakes and focus on positive changes. Make your morning your own. Customize your morning routine based on the six fundamental habits you've learned. Allocate an hour for these habits and divide it according to your needs. Even if you have less than an hour, Dedicating just a few minutes to each activity can change your life. Elrod suggests a flexible six-minute routine. Minute 1. Sit in silence. Minute 2. Recite your affirmations. Minute 3. Note things you're grateful for and what you want to achieve. Minute 5. Read two pages of a book. Minute 6. Do some push-ups and crunches. Keeping your miracle morning flexible helps during travel or busy days. Elrod, a frequent traveler, ensures to fit in these rituals in hotel rooms or even on the plane. Even those working the night shift can benefit by following these practices right after waking up. The key is to set aside time for self-improvement, and you'll quickly see positive changes in your life. Start a new habit. To form a new habit, commit to sticking with it for 30 days. Get an accountability partner to help reshape your mornings over the next month. Just like any habit, the miracle morning takes time to get used to. 
the author suggests finding a partner to join you in incorporating the morning routine so you can hold each other accountable. When a friend is waiting for you, you're more likely to follow through and motivate each other. Elrod notes that the most successful people have an equally driven accountability partner. The ideal partner is someone positive who inspires you to do your best and encourages brainstorming and idea sharing. Sharing the journey with someone makes it less likely for you to grow tired and quit. Remember, it takes around 30 days to form a habit, so don't be discouraged if it's difficult at first. The first 10 days are the toughest, but the next 10 start to get easier, and during the last 10, the habit integrates into your identity, becoming enjoyable. Conclusion The main takeaway is that every day is a chance to remake your character, avoiding a mediocre life. The author argues that, regardless of how much time we have, we can take advantage of our mornings to work on crucial personal development skills. This includes taking silent and spiritual moments, exercising to connect with our bodies, visualizing our ideal day and life, affirming our capabilities, reading for insight, and writing to understand our thoughts, fears, goals, and gratitude. By starting our mornings this way, we can better understand our purpose in life and approach the day as our best and most prepared selves. We're keen to hear your thoughts on our content. Feel free to share your opinions or recommend books in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel business book summaries and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest summaries. Thank you and have a wonderful day.